Now that we have all of this great content, it's time to actually look and see how Drupal renders it to the page. You'll notice that in teaser mode, you get the title and the body with a read more. If I scroll down on the article that we created earlier, title, submission information, the logo, I've gone ahead and cleaned this article up just a little bit so it looks a little bit better. You can do so if you choose. The body, the tags, a read more, a link to the comments. But as we scroll down, we'll also see all of our new content here. By default, Drupal outputs the last 10 nodes created that have been promoted to the home page by default. You'll notice we've got some pagination down here at the bottom, page one, two, three, next and last. And if I click on last, it's gonna take me again to a listing of the nodes in teaser mode with a read more after the title. Well, this isn't exactly appealing, so Drupal allows us to set up what it calls view modes. Now, you might think that that would come under appearance, but if you remember from the video on the appearance menu, this is where we deal with our theme, not layout. Click on structure, content types, and let's go ahead and update the layout for our events content type. If you click on the down triangle, then click on Manage Display. And you'll note here at the top on the Manage Display tab, there's a default and a teaser. The default is what it sounds like. It's the default layout. We're going to add one for the full view layout, as well as the teaser layout. Go ahead and click on Teaser. And you'll see here in the teaser mode, the only thing that's visible is the event description and the links, which is the Read More link. It should be trimmed to 600 characters, and so we'll need to update some of these things in order to make the teaser mode for our event content type look a little bit better. So before we go any further, we need to understand that Drupal gives us what's called layouts. Go ahead and click on Structure and Display Modes, and then click on View Modes. You'll notice there's Form Modes as well. This is the layout for how data is entered, this is the layout for how data is viewed. Click on View Modes, and under the Content View Mode, you'll see Full Content RSS Search Index Search Results Teaser, and you can add another Content View Mode if you want. The key thing here is you're not limited to what Drupal gives you out of the box. As well, you have Blocks, Comments, Taxonomy Terms, and Users, and you can add your own View Modes to any of these. So that's an important thing first off the bat. So that's an important thing to remember. Well, these are the ones that are turned on, but they're not enabled for every content type. So let's go back and do that. Go back to Structure, Content Types, and on the Events Content Type, click Manage Display. Once again, we're back to this page where we have Default and Teaser. Scroll down to the bottom and click on custom display settings and put a check mark in full content. This is going to allow us to manipulate how the fields are laid out when we're actually looking at a node. Click Save and now here at the top we have full content and teaser and in the next two videos we're going to go ahead and update both of these view modes.